got better. <laughs> she basically told all the doctors to F off when they told her that you can't go back to work. And 10 months later, after getting driven over by a car twice, all the way up the left side of her, bed, her body, including her head, Ooh. she went back to full duty. Because they told her you couldn't. And she said, hey, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> but so I'm with, I'm with my mom. We're in a Chinese restaurant. And it's one of those smaller Chinese restaurants. And a lot of the wait staff barely speak a lot of English. It's a really small one. It's nice. I'm there with my ex and my mom. And it's a quiet day. There's not many other people in the restaurant. And we're just talking. And so my mom cracks a joke about her injury. So I stop and I go, are we joking about this now? Is it okay? And she goes, yeah, why not? And I swear to God, I'm so upset about myself. I cracked a joke that broke her, my ex, and me. We're laughing like a freaking pack of hyenas to the point where we're crying hysterically. And all the people in the restaurant are just staring. The wait staff is trying to see who the, who the hell is going to go approach the table to see if we're okay. You can see them in the back talking. And I'm like, I'll remember this. It's fine. I'll know exactly what I said. God damn it, I can't remember the joke. <laughs> to this day, it was the best comedic moment of my life. And I can't remember the goddamn joke. <laughs> That, that, that's the story of my life. All right. So one comment that just general, like I'm just thinking like general comedic stuff is, like this is not a critique to anyone, I'm just thinking about like people that want to get into doing stand up. One thing to think about when you're doing like storytelling comedy, um, it's, it's finding, it's sort of like a mini roller coaster. You kind of like, you're building up, you're building up, and you kind of want to like have little jokes along the way. So like one of the things I thought of was you were talking about the first thing that comes to your mind, like, like just say in the microphone, like, yeah, this is guys what I thought of them. Like, oh, they're a moron, they're whatever. And then the audience will <laughs> react to that and then just keep going on with your story. But you were saying it was something like, yeah, I just think of the first thing that comes to your mind, I can't say that, and then under your breath, say what it is in the microphone, I think that would be pretty funny. Um, Unfortunately, but, I can't. It's not all rated. Yes, that's right. I, yes, thank you. I just realized it's it's basically like PG-13. Yeah. Um, bear that in mind. <laughs> Funny story. All of any time I have kid, actual kiddos at at panels, and it's like open submission or whatever, they're the ones that supply all the dirty answers. <laughs> yeah. Their parents were there too. That was really fun, and I said. Oh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's just what just a general thing. So whenever I'm writing like story like storytelling type things, I always because keep in mind like this is not expected to be like you have this crazy practice thing, whatever. We're coming up to have fun, you're working on everyone's at a different point in their craft, so I'm never picking on anyone in particular. But if you're thinking about it, one of the ways you want to kind of construct it if you're trying to build it into like a set, uh, you know, build go up the roller coaster, go down a little bit, go up the roller coaster, go down, have have jokes along the way to that big punchline because then the whole thing will just become a hit and the audience will if they don't tire out and they'll you know there's laughs along the way. So who's next? Come on. How would you like me to introduce you? Uh, Alan. Alan? Alan? Yes. Alan. Please put your paws together for Alan. jokes. One of them is fairly short, but I have been waiting for, for a chance to do open mic and tell this one because it is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, uh, it was probably like a year ago or something. I was at a flower shop with my mother. Um, and uh, they have these little wagons where you put in the flowers and you like just wheel them around. And I was on my phone taking a video to send to my friends because I had the wagon. They're was barely anything in it, like maybe just a couple of flowers. And I was just re wheeling it around, seeming like a little tune, like homosexual with a wagon, what'll happen? 
something happened. I crashed it into a like display shelf. And this mom with her like little kid, she bends down and she goes, you see little Timmy, this is why you don't text and drive. <laughs> and I just wanted to like whip my head around and go, excuse me, don't, don't use my clumsiness to teach your child. What if your kid do, does that? Who makes, am I still the idiot, idiot or are we both idiots? Who knows? But that is, yes, that is the story. I still have a couple of more. Um, I'm in the teen program for the Boys and Girls Club in my town. Um, and a lot of the time they make us run this little store where you can like buy stuff with like these little, this big currency that you can earn. And you can also give out stuff. And I was running it one time and first graders were in there. And it's like in this room where you can like play games, play on a Nintendo Switch. And I was just sitting there waiting because they don't allow you to be on your phone. You gotta be professional. I, I did sneak in some, I, <laughs> I, I snuck, I snuck, I snuck it. But anyways, this kid comes up to me and I'm like, hey, how are you? And they're like, hi, can I have a glow stick? Because at the time we sold glow sticks. Mind you, this is a first grader, first graders aren't the smartest in, eh? So I give them the glow stick, they give me the fake currency, and they say, how do you work it? And I go, oh, you snap it, and it glows. And they say, okay, snaps it in half. <laughs> and then they try to eat. Then they, have to try, then, they have, then they, of course, have to try to eat it. So I was like, no, don't eat that. And then they invited their friends over. They invited their friends over to eat glow stick fluid and I was just thinking why 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 that's another story and then I have one final one that that would probably take up the rest of the time because I forgot the other joke that I was gonna say um, this is from the at the exact same boys and girls club I was running the store and my friend had like just left so it was just me just me and I'm running there, and there they have these two shelves. One where you can give out to the kids, and one where there's like, you buy the stuff with the fake currency. All on there, you buy stuff with the fake currency. You can't like borrow that. And this kid comes up, and I can barely understand him because he's talking very, very quietly. And um, so he's pointing at the shelf where all the stuff is, and he has some of the fake currency, but he's pointing up, because the higher it goes, the more expensive it is. So he's asking me like, and I'm like, excuse me? And he keeps pointing, and I cannot see where he's pointing. And I finally figure out where he's pointing, and I'm like, oh, you don't have enough for that, I'm sorry. And he says, basically what I, all, all I heard was, can I have that right there? And I was like, no, you don't have enough. And this kid just kept on asking me, can I get that thing right over there? And I was like, no, you don't have enough of the fake currency. So I had to grab a counselor, I had to grab a counselor and tell, and make them tell this kid, hey, you need to tell them to stop. And they do. Five minutes later, can I you in here? No, no, you cannot. Anyways. That's pretty much all of my jokes since I forgot the other one. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So we've had a few forget jokes, and I had an idea to talk about. So, let me ruin, want me to ruin the magic of some stage comedians for you? Yeah. Great. So, <laughs> you ever wonder why there's sometimes a stool of like, yeah, water is an important thing to have, but you ever think about what might be, what might be written on the back of the bottle of the water? Mm -hmm. Or they might have something on a stool, with a piece of tape, a piece of tape, paper, tape, any of the done theater, if there's a table or something, sometimes something may be forgotten in terms of placement or something. There's many places to hide things on your person, and guess what? You can also just have a note card with basically something to jog your memory about how to move through your set. It's okay, it's, we're just here to have fun. But like, let's say you want to turn into some past you really don't want to 